Hey, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite tricks for charging portable power stations. This little trick or hack can get you up to 160% of the charge speed that you've been getting from your device. It works on almost every portable power station on the market and it works from wall charging and solar. So this is pretty exciting stuff, let's check it out. Now to take advantage of this fast charge, we have to learn about power delivery ports. A power delivery port is a type of USB-C that can handle faster charging. It can actually communicate with devices and determine the ideal speed of charging. It'll always be listed as PD and it's max wattage. PD60 is very common, but I've even seen up to a 100 watt power delivery port on these new power stations. Now most of us understand these as a fast charging output. You can plug a tablet or a laptop into this port and get a lightning fast charge. But this port is also an input. It can handle charging the battery on our portable power station. And what's gonna interest us today is it has its own interface with the battery, meaning it doesn't run through the onboard charger. So we can dual charge. These batteries can handle that. We're gonna charge from both the onboard charger and the power delivery port at the same time. So let me show you how to do this from the wall. So in front of me on the table are two power stations that are about the same capacity. This is 500 watts and this is 600 watts. But these two units are as far away on the spectrum as you can get. This is brand new. It's one of the cheapest units on the market. It uses lithium iron phosphate batteries. This unit's been around for five or six years. It uses lithium NMC and it's one of the more expensive models. Both of these have a 60 watt power delivery port, but this more inexpensive Opez, Upez model, whatever it's called, <laughs> has a 100 watt charging limit. They give you a 97 watt wall charger, so they just about max that out. You can't upgrade this to charge any faster than 100 watts, but what I can do is take this charger that goes to my laptop. This is an Apple charger, but basically any block charger for like a laptop or tablet that has a USB-C. I plug that into shore power and I plug it into the power delivery port. This unit now went from 97 watts up to 151 watts. I know you can't see this in the light, I'm not making it up, so I'll take a cell phone photo and, and put it up there so you can see this. 155% of the charge speed that this was advertised as. That's gonna take a three hour charge and knock it down to two hours. You can do six hours worth of charging in four hours. This is a serious upgrade that cost me no money at all. So right now, let's demonstrate this on the more expensive unit from Goal Zero, but uh, pretty impressive stuff. So on the Goal Zero unit, we did even better. We got up to almost 180 watts. That's 120 coming from the wall charger and another 60 coming from this laptop charger. So 150% on both of these mid-size units. If you're using a bigger unit, you're gonna get the max wattage out of your PD. It's just a smaller piece of the pie. So instead of 150% boost, you might get 120% boost. It's still great. Now, I've tried this on the Blue Eddies, EcoFlow Deltas, it works. Uh, some of the Jackeries are missing power delivery ports. So that's a bummer, but some of them have it. So it depends on the model that you're working with. Uh, what I want you to do is check your owner's manual, call your company before you try dual charging, but this is a great hack. What I love better than this, it works for solar as well. So let's check that out. 
Now charging with solar is a lot more inconsistent than wall charging. Different days produce different results and depending where you live, a 100 watt panel is never gonna actually get you 100 watts. You're lucky when it gets you 80. But these conditions where it's cloudy all day and then the sky clears up for like two hours, that's the time that we really have to take advantage of this little hack. That's when we can get more charge into the unit with less sun. So this panel that I found on Amazon, it's a Powoxy, I think that's how you say it. It's a 100 watt portable panel. It's dirt cheap and it comes like a uh, Swiss Army knife. They give you every possible adapter here to go into different power stations. There's an aviation plug in Anderson. But what I like about this the most is on the junction box inside, there's a USB PD output. It's 45 watts. So we could take a USB-C wire and plug this into our power station. This is gonna give us the same results that we got from the wall charger. Except with solar, it's a lot more important. So working with this Opez 600, I plugged a 100 watt portable panel in. I got about 80 watts going into the battery from that. I plugged this Powoxy in and it's bouncing between 125 and 130 as far as solar wattage going into this battery. This is a huge improvement, a great opportunity to capture the sun while it's available, and uh, I highly recommend it. I'm going to go through a couple tips here that have helped me out and we'll wrap this video up. So a few final tips and tricks here to wrap this video up. Go with a high quality USB-C. I'll link this one in my description. This cable even tells you how many watts are traveling through it and it's really accurate and it doesn't cost much money. The length is important. I go with 10 feet. It allows me to put my panel in direct sunlight, but put my power station in the shade. I put it behind a tree or something. These batteries don't like to be cooked in the sun. If it has to go out in direct sunlight, I use that foil bubble wrap. They call it Reflex Tech. I put it over top of the power station to keep it as cool as possible. Because this Powoxy has a regulated power delivery port, you can plug the solar panel directly into your device. So I can take this cable, plug it into my laptop, and charge and work remotely. You can put the panel up on your canopy or awning and use your computer down underneath or run the wire inside your camper. There's a million and one uses here. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Do me a favor, share it with somebody. Copy the link and send it to somebody else to help the channel grow. Other videos on solar and power stations, check out the other stuff on the channel. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you next time.